most people, there's a stigma about peer support that, you know, we don't hold hands. I, I tell people all the time, we don't, we don't hold hands and sing Kumbaya where, you know, we don't do that crap. Uh, we, uh, our veterans that we get together and we talk about what we've been through, you know, uh, I have found for me that I, I won't tell anybody Jack, but I'll tell you what, I find out a guy's a jarhead or a squid or a doggy, I'm going to tell them, uh, yeah, you know, the, the stories just start flying, you know, and you, you remember a lot of things and you talk about a lot of things. And uh, <clears throat> it it's completely confidential. You know, what you say there stays there. What you see there stays there. You know, it, it's just a place where you can go and talk about you. There needs to be a marriage between clinical and peer support. You, you know, you can't get cured by clinical by itself. You can't get cured or made better by peer support by itself. Of course, everybody's different, you know. But, you know, when you have a marriage there between the, cl the clinical side and the peer support side, it, it helps. It makes, it works. It works.